Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you can be notified when I go live or upload a new video. And please like this video. Is it good for the entire laundry family? Brian's only chance is to turn himself in. He cannot run forever. The Laundries have stonewalled Gabby's family because they knew what Brian had done. And it looks like they've helped him run. And now it seems like based on the report coupled with their behavior, they have more than likely acted and aided and abetted a murderer. Strangulation is not an accident. Strangulation is not an accident. It looks very bad right now for the Laundry family. Brian, make a deal and turn yourself in now. Anything I say here is just my opinion and is alleged, but I absolutely believe in my opinion that this these parents are aiding and abetting their son. They are helping him out. And I know a lot of people are Either way, they just think, well, you know, that's their his parents. They should protect him. But where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line and say, no, it's not okay. It's not okay to hide him out. It's not okay to, you know, to have this grown man out here acting, not taking responsibility for anything he did allegedly and it's disgusting that that you know we have to draw a line when it comes to our kids and we you know if if we know if if we know in our heart they strangled somebody it lawyer them up and 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 send their butt to the police department visit them in prison but you don't go as far as to hide them out and then keep your mouth shut you're not going to find anybody bigger on loyalty than me or this thing called respect but I'll tell you what, that when it comes to, you know, somebody killed somebody, you, you remain loyal by helping them, getting them a lawyer and, and saying, you know what, you know, what you did was wrong. It's, it's time to turn yourself in. You know, I'm telling you this as a mother I'm telling you this as as a friend whoever it is that you're protecting you know that I'm trying to be loyal to this is what I would do as a friend or as a mother it's time to turn yourself in because you if they catch you out there they're they're gonna they could kill you you could end up dead if you if you run they're gonna they're gonna shoot you they're you know It's, there's a fine line you have to, have to draw, you know. He took the life, allegedly, took the life of another in, in a very horrific way, allegedly. And, no, I, I, my loyalty would always remain, but there would be some limits there. There would, there would have to be some limits there. You know, I wouldn't care nothing about you if I wasn't trying to tell you the truth and say, this isn't going to end well for you if you don't turn yourself in. Now, they, uh, from what I'm hearing, the, the state where the crime was committed, there's death penal penalties there. They're, they, they, they put you to death. So maybe the parents are afraid of that. I don't know.
but I think he needs to do what the what dog the bounty hunter says try to make a deal try to make a deal and turn yourself in there's a lot of people that have something against people that's out there in front of the houses that's protesting in front of the houses of the sister and the brother or the mother and the father but you know what if i was the mother of gabby petito I would want, I would hope that people would be out there saying, bring your butt out here and answer for this. You know, th this isn't just a case where somebody killed someone and then got arrested and is in prison. And then now you have protesters in front of the house trying to blame the parents for the son's actions they're not blaming the, the parents for the for the son's actions but what they're doing is trying to hold them accountable for them aiding and abetting and for their part in all of this mess so i i, I can't really blame the protesters i would be out there too if I could go out there, I probably would. Because it's not right. Why are they not being charged? I mean, it's unbelievable. It would take less evidence, a whole heck of a lot less evidence to put me or you in prison for something that they that it, and there's just so much there is so much evidence here there to, to at least make a charge you know to make him accountable by making him stand in front of the the jury there's enough evidence to say, hey, you know what? Your story don't seem right here, parents. Brian is a mommy's mommy and daddy's boy. But you know what? You've babied him for your last time. It's time that you stand up and you answer for things you did too. By making them also accountable. And even if they found him, the, uh, Brian's not going to say, oh, my, my parents were hiding me out. No. So I doubt that he's ever going to be really those parents. I don't think that any of them is going to be held accountable for anything they've done, you know, allegedly. I have to keep saying allegedly. But... It's, I can't believe that there's no charges that have been even filed yet. No charges, except for the credit card charge. It's obvious he took it from her, her, her person after he did what he did. It's obvious that they have proof that he's, he took her money and that's not proof enough to say, well, maybe he was the last one with her. It's crazy. He took her van that was belonged to her and came back from a trip without her. Didn't report her missing. So that should have should tell them them something. But I believe the parents knew what he had done to her before he got back. 
I think they knew what he did because he called them. He called mommy and daddy. Because for whatever reason, he knew mommy and daddy was going to help him out. This family is beyond methodical. They know what they do. They know what they do. They're very cunning. And there's something not right with this family. There's something not right with them. To the point that it's sickening. You've seen how Brian Laundrie's father, Chris Laundrie, was out there socializing with the police officer. Just on a walk. He wasn't even looking around, looking for his son. He was looking at the police officer, you know, smiling and, and trying to be friends with this this police officer. The same way when Brian Laundrie got pulled over, how he was trying to make friends with the with the police officers and cutting up and laughing with them. He even said at one point, oh, and this is how you know, this is a narcissistic person. He's sitting there, and, and the only thing, his, his girlfriend, or his alleged fiance, but I think that he, she was trying to break things off with him, and I think he knew that, and he wasn't going to let that happen. But he sat there and, and was told the police officers, oh, it, the sun, can I sit over there in the shade? my head to save my my head from getting burnt does that sound like an outdoorsy type of person to you that can that you know he he was worried about his head getting burnt but he's not worried about being out there in the wilderness for over a month now and uh surviving out there in, in the wilderness for over a month getting burned up I think he does like the outdoors I think he enjoys the outdoors I think he's very good at, at surviving out in the outdoors but I don't think he's going to do it if he has another choice I don't believe he's out there in the wilderness trying to survive I think he's being protected I think he's off somewhere and he's gone. That's just my thinking. I don't know. There's people that have, have also been saying that they've seen him out there. I don't, it, it's hard telling. But he's being helped by somebody. And I don't believe for one second he's going to take he's he would take his own life. So it's hard telling. It's hard telling where he's at. He's not out there this long unless somebody's helping him. Because I don't want to believe that the the Florida State Police and the FBI are that stupid. Why don't they have the... Don't they have those helicopters where... They could sense, like, body heat and stuff? Or, or like, a person? Even if they're, like, hiding out in the... In the under a tree and stuff like if they had the helicopters fly over I don't know there's things they could be doing that, that would find him and I think they I think they know he's not they keep searching out there in the same place and that baffles me I don't understand that for the last couple of days especially they've been out there in the same area so I don't know I, I don't think he's out there I think that 
the police have been very kind to Brian Laundry. They've given him days and days and days of head starts. You know, they've given him plenty of opportunities to get out and hide. He's had a lot of time to do that. And it's unbelievable to me how the police officer standing in front of that and with the interview that went on, at the one with the father, the parents of Gabby, that police officer st stood up there and told a bold-faced lie and said, yes, we, we definitely know where he's at. So if you knew where he was at, why were you not keeping eyes and ears on him? How was Brian Laundry able to, and I wonder if they've even questioned this, how was he able to leave the house with all those people in front of the house? I don't understand that. I, I don't understand how he's able to do that. I think that I think that Brian Laundry was out of that house way before then. And I think the parents made up the story about how they found the car and left a message saying, please don't hurt yourself. Come home. No. No. I don't believe that story. I believe they did that. They were involved in that. And I believe that they're, they're, they're not worried about anything. Even if you know that your kid did something that was wrong. If you thought that they were in danger. Even if even if you thought they were in danger or not in a good place you would say you know what i'm not the one that hurt her i'm not the one that did anything i'm not the criminal here but my son's missing too i'm gonna i'm gonna go look for him because as a parent i'm concerned they're not a bit concerned at all and that should tell you something that should tell you they know where he's at and that he's safe. These people are very cunning. They're all just like each other. And they will do anything to protect each other. Because if they have to throw themselves under the bus lightly, they'll do it because then that's protected somehow that's protecting the other person because they know they're safe they know the parents and the sisters the sister they know they're safe they know that they they're not going to be charged nothing's going to happen to them because They've already seen how stupid the police department are there. So they'll just come out and just say any an, any old thing. Just as Kat, Cassie did. Oh, my mom's not talking to me. That's kind of thrown her, under the, her mom under the bus. But at the same time, it's not anything that's going to get her mom in trouble. So, she, you know, she's going to say what she has to say to get people away from her house and stop protesting in her house at her house and then it makes them seem like that they're coming forward and speaking when they're actually not they're just feeding you a little bit of what you want to hear to make them seem like that they're that they're innocent 
when they're allegedly, in my opinion, not. So yeah, this family is something else. Let's let's move on to the video. So Brian, <laughs> what did you do? You're living it every night, aren't you, boy? Turn yourself in, Brian. At this point, a lot of people are just getting fed up. They're getting fed up. And I bet he does live this every night. But then again, I doubt he does. I, I don't think he lives this every single night. I think he's enjoying this. The hunt. And thinking that he's getting by with something. And I don't think he feels about a bit bad for what he did. I believe that in his head somehow, allegedly, all this is allegedly in his head somehow, he's feeling like what he did, allegedly, is... somehow right what he did because if he was feeling at all any remorse at all that would mean he's human and he would turn himself in and say you know what I, I yeah I did this and I, you know I feel so bad and I'm ready to stand and and take accountability for what I did that's guilt. That's, you know, that's guilt is something that normal people have when they have empathy and they have a soul. People who have this narcissistic thing, they don't have a soul. They're soulless. They are without empathy. They can't have empathy. They can't feel. And this is why I say they're demonic. They're possessed. They, the scientific word is narcissistic be, behaviors. But the Christ, Christian word for it is these people are possessed. Because there's no human being out there that's born soulless. Well, actually they are if they were born with the uh, generational curses. But even then, you're born with, you have choices by repenting. God gave you that choice that you can, that there, there, you have a, ch a chance uh, to repent and come to him. But these people choose to stay in their hatred and stay in their anger and stay with the soulless, demonic thing that's inside of them. They can't feel empathy when they do anything wrong. And I'm sure Gabby has had the unfortunate pleasure of unpleasure of seeing him when that mask came off and, and saw the demon, maybe saw his eyes turn black because in a lot of cases with these people, you can actually see their eyes turn black that's a fact. And they're just sitting there, peeking out their windows. Well, I'm dirty. Very suiting. Very suiting. Dirty laundry. This house should be burned. That'll get you out. These, I swear to God, these people, I want to see them find for this search. They, they know what happened. Or he lied. Because I'm going to tell you something. What got my heart was when I saw the manipulation that their son did with those cops in Utah. He had those cops eating out of the palm of their hand. That's a talent. You got to be psychotic in order to do that. You got to be psychotic. And they let the girl, that girl was troubled. I think she saw something, she knew something, and then to separate them, 
How are you going to separate them? Make her stay in the camper and him in a hotel? No. No. I'm sorry. This is not right. Where are you from? Hershey, Pennsylvania. What's your name? Marissa Zidinski. Hey. Spell that last name for me. M A R I S S A. Z as in Zulu. D as in Delta. A is in Alpha, Z as in Zulu, Indigo, and SKY, Zidinski. So you came here just for Yes. I, I, I want to see them. I want to see the FBI drag these people out and give some answers. This does not make sense. This is, listen, listen, I got free speech too. You can lawyer up, but I got free speech too. I don't, I'm not trying to be a drama queen, but I'm, the more that I see, Everyone is reacting to this. The whole world. For a guy on the loose, and let me tell you something else, and you can quote me on this. If Dog the Bounty Hunter find Brian Laundry, I'm never paying taxes again. <laughs> this, this woman is something else, I'll tell you what. I've been following her for a while, for a long time on her channel, Molly Go Lightly. And, um,. She she has a mouth on her, but she's telling the truth. She drove all the way from where she lives to to Florida just to take flowers and put them out in front of the house for Gabby. And because they had they have like this little uh section just for Gabby for people to take flowers and things and she saw she saw somebody poke their head out or out the window or peek out the window and that just set her off that set her off big time and she's right when she said that you know there's a talent and when the when brian had the police eaten out of his hands it's true but the, at the same time his his father also had the police officer eating out of his hand too when he went out to search for his son or so-called search for his son so yeah I mean and this Marissa she's already made another trip or she's making another trip she's already booked another flight to go back out there to florida so i don't know if she's actually going to the house or not or what she's planning on doing but she is planning on going back out there so yeah this is all i have for you guys this is um i mean how long has this search been going on I think we're all sick and tired of it. I think we are, we all need to be moving on to something else. There's other missing people out there. There's other missing uh, children out there. And this man needs to be found. He needs to be brought to justice. And just like anybody else would be. And I think a lot of people are getting upset because he should have been found by now. Also, I want to give you guys a quick update on the Ashley Kashan case that I was reporting on, um, the, the other missing woman. She, now I'm just going to say alleged for now because I haven't looked too much into it because I've been trying to respect the family's wishes, but she has been found in a hospital. Um, I'm not sure how that happened anything could have happened behind that I mean did somebody take her and do something to her and then let her go and then she ended up in the hospital did she go to the hospital for men mental health issues um, I don't know but I do think that if her father had anything to do with her abusing her and getting her into this this state of mind, I don't think that people should be leaving this case alone. I think they should do what they have to do to try to um, find out what they can because, you know, 
we just don't know what happened or what caused this to happen. So, you know, the family did ask that people give them their space and give them some privacy. But, I mean, why? Why do you need your space and privacy? Is it because you don't want people to find out what maybe the father did to her? I mean, you know, any it could be anything. I mean, because from what the girl was saying in her videos and all I can go on is by what she's saying is that she was having issues with the fa with the whole family I guess the sister the father she was upset with the mother for the mother because the mother she felt what didn't do enough to protect her or stand up for her so you know if Ashley comes out and says yes I want my privacy I don't want want to talk about it then that that's one thing but for the family the people that she's accusing of hurting her you know I, I I'm not paying too much attention to that hopefully Ashley will be okay hopefully she'll pull through this whatever is going on and hopefully she'll do another video that will just you know that will let us know what happened because I know a lot of people were worried about her and hoping that she was found and sh the important thing here is that she was found and so I think right now we shouldn't read too much into it we probably just need to get to get this girl time to heal and I'm sure we'll find out soon enough what transpired what happened so you know that's one good blessing there I hope you guys have a wonderful day. God bless.